Balliser. I'm with the law firm of Balliser and Siegel. Uh, my partner and I, Natalie, uh, we started our law firm back in March of 1998. So next month is going to be 26 years doing what we do and all we do are criminal defense and immigration. Uh, and so hopefully we're going to come out with some regular videos uh, regarding the particular topics of criminal defense and immigration as we go by, but this is the first one. It's going to be a little rough, so I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance. But uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the topic for this particular video are going to be the filing fee increases that are going to come into effect um, on April 1st, 2024. And when I say filing fees, I'm talking about filing fees um, uh, paid to USCIS, United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. But in any event, USCIS has not increased their fees since 2016, which we all knew was not a sustainable situation. Um, everything is getting, getting more expensive. There's no reason to believe why USCIS um, should be immune from that. But I'm only going to discuss forms that are more relevant to my particular practice. If you go to Ballester and Siegel, these would be the types of uh, applications or forms we would be helping you with. We're going to go ahead and talk about these specific uh, applications, the, the most common forms that we file at our, uh, at our law firm. Let's start with the I-130. Uh, this is probably the most, uh, out of all the forms, the one that we file most often. So currently the filing fee for an I-130 is $535. Um, for all applications postmarked on or after April 1st, 2024, that $535 fee goes up to 26% um, to $675. Um, if you file it online, uh, there's a $50 discount and it, it's actually $625, so the increase is less if you file it online. And that's a common theme. For the online uh, forms, the forms that you're eligible to file online, they will offer a 50% discount, or $50, sorry, $50 discount if you file it online. Uh, Adjustment of status, I-485. This is the really important application. This is the one that that uh, base it's founded on the family classification in this case, and um, it brings you from a non-permanent resident to a permanent resident status. It's really that's the meat of it. It's a longer application. It's about 20 pages long without supplements, and. Um, Currently, the filing fee for this application is twelve twenty-five, which sounds like a lot of money, but because it is. But what you have to understand is that twelve twenty-five includes the adjustment. That's the green card application. It includes the work permit, the I seven sixty-five, and it includes the travel uh, application, the I one thirty-one. Assuming you file all three at the same time, you know, un under you're basically getting three applications for the price of one. So, twelve twenty-five, a lot of money, um, and. For postmarked applications after April 1st, that uh, 1225 increases to 1440. Now that doesn't sound like that much of a of a change, um, but it gets worse because now instead of including the work permit and the travel application, now you got to pay extra. So before the uh, the typical work permit application costs 410 dollars, sometimes it's 495 if there's a biometrics fee, but um, the I-765 fee will go from $410 to $470 if you file it online and $520 if you do the paper. Again, there's a $50 discount if you file it online. The travel application, the I-131, the filing fee for that is $630. I don't believe there's an online filing um, option for that particular form, so that's just straight $630. Um, so, if you add up the adjustment fee, uh, the work permit fee and the I-130 fee, you're looking at $2,535 after the fee increase, after April 1st, 2024. Up until April 1st, 2024, it's 1760 so it's $800 bucks, uh, cheaper, um, which of course $800 is $800. Also, after April 1st, 2024, um, if you want the travel application also, just add $630 dollars to the 2535 total uh, you know you're well over three thousand dollars at that particular point compared to 1760 for those exact same applications nowadays so uh, very significant uh, difference 
The uh, next application we're going to talk about is the N400. That's the application for naturaliz naturalization. Obviously, there are, there are significant advantages to being a citizen, and I, it's in any event, assume you're eligible, assume your case is clean, um, you should absolutely file for citizenship. It just It's just that final nail in the coffin, so to speak. There's no more uh, uncertainty. Um, it's, it's the final step in your immigration journey. So the filing fee for a naturalization application nowadays is $725. The interesting thing is that uh, under the new fee structure, you actually can get, earn a discount from the current fee. If you do the online filing option of the naturalization on April 1st, 2024 onward, it goes down to $710. It actually goes down $15. Uh, if you do it by uh, paper, on or after April 1st, 2024, then it goes um, up to $760 and it goes up $35. So it, it's, it's a refreshing change from the other forms that it just didn't seem to change that much and it does offer a discount. $15 is $15. Um, the final application is the I-601A that I'm going to talk about today. So the filing fee for this is currently $715. After the fee increase uh, period, it goes up to $795. $80 difference, 11, an 11 percent uh, difference. It's not terrible, you know, be better if it was cheaper, but it is what it is. So as the USCIS link that I put down below in the, des des uh, the description details, um, there are a lot of changes to a bunch of different forms that I didn't talk about. I only touched on a, a few of them, a few of them that are relevant to, to my practice. Uh, the bottom line is this. If you've been holding off on filing immigration petitions for one reason or another, um, now might be a good time prior to April 1st, 2024, because you could save a, a, you know, a tremendous amount of money um, on that. Um, but as always, if you have any questions, um, on this issue or any immigration or criminal defense issue, please feel free to set up an appointment with my office. Uh, the, our office contact information is in our description on our page. Um, and I'm sure myself or my partner, Natalie Siegel, would be very happy to uh, try to assist you. Uh, so with that said, this is the first episode. Sorry it was rough, but uh, anyway, hopefully there are going to be many more to come. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks.